Hello everyone and welcome back to Call of Pripyat. Gotta go do uh, radio interference, find the missing squad. Another group got themselves lost. The missing. What do you want to bet that they're dead? I suppose it's not a certainty that they're dead. But they're probably dead. This thing's a bitch to reload. I think in the future, when I use that gun, I'll probably just use all the ammunition in a single clip and then just switch out for a different gun. dead oh my god I'm so surprised the fuck explosives with a timer I guess I'll take that don't see why I wouldn't Do 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 all right base I found one of your men it looks like he blew himself up with a grenade there are no signs of a firefight or any other evidence of him being attacked Kowalski here Roger that major hey I got good news we finally acquired the exact coordinates of the source of interference. The signal is coming from the kindergarten building. All right, let's go to the kindergarten. Where the hell's the kindergarten? Okay, there. It's to my left. <laughs> Fucking little bastards. To a hard save. Oh man. Alright, this is the kindergarten. Ooh. Blow up the door. Okay. Do I have Psy emission stuff? Psy protection? There we go. Oh, fuck! Fuck you, poltergeist. Shotgun shells, apparently. Shit. That's no good. I don't like that gun. Fuck. 
Oh, that's not one of the generators. What's it telling me to do? Eliminate the source of the interference. Maybe a grenade? Oh wait, I have uh, under barrel grenades. No, not you. I had to have done it, right? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, what's up, dude? Major, thank God, I'm saved. How'd you end up here? Er, uh, I don't remember much. I was so scared I could barely think. I don't even know where it scared me. I had a feeling I had to hide, so I ran. I remember streets. Turning somewhere, I came to this hole, the door was locked from the outside, I thought I was going to die in here. So how did you find me? Actually, let's get the hell out of here and get closer to the base. This place is giving me the willies. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here for sure. Is that really you? Oh. Well, I'll be. We were starting to think we'd never see our dock again. So what happened? Uh, it's a long story. I'll tell you another time. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks for your help. By the way, the Colonel wants you to pay him a visit. Thanks. I'll do that. Also, Gary headed for Yanov's station to restock. He asked me to tell you that he won't be back for a few days. Gotcha. So, tell me, where were you? Sounds like I'm trapped here. Oh shit, I was expecting the, the guy to get more ammunition. I need more shotgun shells. I spoke to the HQ command and reported the situation to him along with all the information that's been collected. There won't be any helicopter support for a while. He suggested that we fortify our position and await further orders. USS observers are currently at the HQ, so you'll be able to talk to your superiors soon enough. Colonel, a radio signal has been detected, and its source is not far from the base. The transmission is encrypted, and I haven't been able to crack it yet. Do you have the coordinates? Yes. I have the coordinates, but the signal is intermittent, and it's moving. Monolith again? I'll check. Can, uh, restock? Okay, yeah, I definitely need to restock. You're the guy, right? No, you're a medical person. Actually, yeah, I'll take some medical supplies anyway. Uh, not you. I need ammo. I need uh, shotgun ammo, I suppose. And I'll take MG ammo. And I need grenades. <coughs> oh, fuck. No, not trying to drop that. Need that so badly. So bad. Such an important part of my gear right now. Um, I really don't need those slugs. I'm just not even going to use them. I know that I'm not going to use them, so I'm going to just get rid of them right now. I think it's likely that I'll find a use for everything else. Let's get rid of this vodka. Though. Okay. Wait, what did my mission say? Oops. Okay. Unknown. Source of the signal. Still 7 a.m. Beautiful. In real life, I wouldn't wake up that early for anything. But in Stalker? Oof.
I'm at least happy to kill a few of them before I get in shotgun range. What the fuck? Uh, moving fast as shit. How do I get in here? Do I have to go around or is there a door here? I have to say, I do always appreciate the environment in this game. Although it's spooky as hell and I hate being scared, it, uh, it is very it's right next to you. high quality. Don't see anyone. It's close, and it's moving toward our base. It's underground. Major Kowalski here. You better get back here. We need to prepare for possible attack. Okay. Bastards won't catch us with our pants down this time. Prepare for an attack. Suave. My name is Trelok. Oh shit! <laughs> what are you doing here? The stalker who disabled the scorcher? Yes, but my plan didn't work. It was me. I came here to speak with your commanders. I have information that will allow the army to take control of the zone and destroy it. And the mission is starting. Come, let's talk inside. Okay. We've got a problem. Our choppers are crashing for reasons that we've not understood yet. Until we work it out, there won't be any helicopters. I pull out a knife. The only way to get to the borders of the zone Stab, stab. is on foot. The reasons are obvious. There are many anomalies in the air, especially in the center of the zone. We had a map with the safe air corridor between anomalies. And the helicopters had emission protection systems. Uh, that's odd. You're telling me you haven't noticed that anomalies move around after an emission. Some disappear, and new ones show up in different places, which makes your map of anomalies effectively useless. So that's what it is. What? Emissions don't just follow one another. If you can scan the area and identify all the anomalies, the choppers will be able to collect us safely, provided they're dispatched right after an emission. We must inform the HQ of this as soon as possible. I'll contact my commanders right after the emission. Lieutenant, get him on the line as soon as you can. Acid rain was bad enough around here. I'm actually Think gonna take it. that back. I'll trade it for rain any day of the week and twice on Sunday. How do you feel? I'm okay. I was in a state of shock to kindergarten, but as soon as the mission started, I snapped out of it pretty quick. A little too heavy to move now, that's not good. Uh, 
whatever. Every time there's an emission, I get this splitting headache. As long as the emission is killing you, I say that's pretty good going. <clears throat> Let's repair stuff. I gotta say, I love that he just repairs stuff for free. And he just gives me weapons and uh, ammo and grenades and stuff. Amazing. So I got a ton of ammo now. I'm happy about it. Real happy. I can't believe Straylock's back. Sokolov. And what was your name again? Oh, Straylock. Yeah, you're Straylock. Okay. What information do you want to hand over to the government? Lots of things. I'm sure the information I have can be used to destroy the zone. I thought I could do it myself, but it turned out to be far more complicated. People have started it. We're in control anymore. I'll explain everything when we get out of here. What did you see in the sarcophagus? It's all fake. The model with the whiskey. Granter, it's just a lie. A device that clouds your mind. People behind it are hiding out somewhere else. What do you know who's behind it? Maybe yes, maybe no. I don't know what to believe anymore. Despite that, I found out more than they wanted me to know. We monitored your radio signal. Yes, I contacted the soccer called Guide. He told me how to get to this place via the underground tunnels. Who is Guide? He's a legendary stalker. They say he can lead you anywhere in the zone. The army boys are lucky to have met him. We wouldn't have lived long without him. How do you know that the military are here? Guide told me. He's the one who brought Koloski and his squad here. Okay. Is this all that's left? Two, four, six. What about that guy who wandered off right when we came out of the metro? Wait, oh, two, four, six, seven. Okay. But yeah, the guy who was part of my crew and uh, he just kind of walked off. It looks like the emission is over. Kirillov, contact HQ. Roger. All right. Sounds like we're going to evacuate, potentially, unless something bad happens. Why does it say 12 on my thing, on my map, when there's only eight of us here? Because of the emission, it's impossible to establish comms during one. Yes. Okay. Roger. I'm in command now. Damn right. Major, do you read me? Major Jagtireb here. I read you. What is the most terrible? I've managed to acquire documents about experiments carried out in the zone. Furthermore, we've been contacted by a stalker who's been in the CNPP. His name is Strelak, and he's offered us his cooperation. You know what caused our helicopters to crash? Yes, I have the data, and Straylock's information confirms it. The helicopters were hit by anomalies after their locations changed during the emission. The anomaly map issued to the pilots turned out to be useless. Good. That means we have until the next emission. We'll be collected together with the stalker from position B28. Stingray squad will be evacuated with you. The birds are already in the air. Alright. You heard the news, fellas. When we go, stick together and keep the stalker alive. Any questions? Get ready to move. Major, can I have a word? You can. Um...
But anyway, so among you, among us, you and Strelok have the most experience in the zone. The difference is that while Strelok's experience remains hear hearsay, the fact that you're a pro is clear as day. What I'm trying to say is that I'm counting on you, Major. Keep an eye on Strelok. It's not many of us left. All right. Um, these things last 300 seconds, which is like six minutes. And by like six minutes, I mean exactly six minutes. <laughs> I need to reduce some of my weight. Unfortunately, I do. Um... Shit, what should I put down? That's not much weight getting rid of those. Are these heavier? 10, 10, 10, 10. 0.5. I'm going to be evacuated, I assume, so I can get rid of most of my stuff, I think. Alright. I'm ready to go. Two, four... Six, seven, and me, me is eight. All right, I'm ready. Move out. Move out, squad. ammo for that gun left unfortunately let's do a hard save right here just in case everything goes tits up That guy has an MG over there, that zombie. Uh, one of our guys is still indoors. Are you coming, dude? Straylock, I can't believe you have such a shitty gun, man. You're like the famous stalker. And you're, you're fucking running around with hot garbage weapons. Move to the left and cover each other. Every zombie in Pripyat is going to know we're coming. We've got to move faster. Run!
Yeah, and suddenly the zombies are very well equipped as well. What the fuck is that? We're on the way. Our orders are to take off if we come under attack, so hurry the hell up. Roger that. We'll be there soon. Fucking snorks over there. Stay alert and follow orders. We're real close to the evacuation point. Let's move. God damn it, I hate snorks. Check your weapons and fire at will. Did I get any with my grenades? I think I might have. Fire at will. Go. Oh my god, that's a lot of snorks. What the fuck is that? Oh man. What was that? Just fucking take everything, take all the drugs. Don't stop. Keep moving. It's here. Run. Revive the medic? Huh? Okay. Run. F F F I'm pressing F, man. Oh, you gotta be shitting me, there's no bullets in it. These guys are my guys. Ow. I can't see anybody. What? Straylock is down? I don't know if I hit him. What happened? Mission complete, he says. Oh, I'm actually glad I kept that Goss rifle then. That thing is pretty badass, just murking everyone in one shot. Wait, what do you say? Everyone was dead? Are you ready to leave the zone? There's no way back. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Did Sherlock die?
man. Is that the end of the game? Holy shit. That was a fun last stand right there. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh man. Is that it? That's it. I think. As a reward for successfully completing his investigation, Diktyrev was offered a promotion to Colonel and the position of mission coordinator. He declined the opportunity to work at the HQ and submitted a personal request to be sent to the zone as the USS permanent observer. The information about the development of psi devices obtained by Diktyrev alerted USS commanders. All the information gathered on ex-designated laboratories was removed from military archives and filed as top secret. All personnel working in the zone were ordered to prevent the disclosure of information about the laboratories at any cost. Several experimental samples were made on the basis of technical documents for item 62. Following a set of test trials, it was decided not to go ahead with large-scale deployment of a weapon due to the high cost of ammunition. Nonetheless, it would be reasonable to assume that further development of a Gauss rifle is ongoing. Skadas became home to any and all who could reach it. Fierce stalker resistance did not stop the bandits from making regular and ultimately unsuccessful attempts to establish their so-called order on the ship. Despite this ongoing struggle, the Skadovsk carried on its unique brand of life. Following the destruction of the Bloodsucker Lair, it's unlikely that anything could significantly change the state of affairs on the Skadovsk. The old ship became a temporary center of stability in the ever-changing world that is the Zone. A fragile balance was reached between freedom and duty squads at Yanov Station. Tired of the endless struggle, fighters of both factions started leaving their squads and joining the Free Stalkers. The scientific expedition, organized by Professors Herman and Ozersky, was a success. The data they collected facilitated the development of groundbreaking medicine and technology which prompted the Ministry of Education to allocate additional funding for researching the zone. Gary's stories about the Army's struggle against the dangers of Pripyat encouraged stalkers to explore the ghost town. Despite the constant monolith attacks, stalkers managed to secure the former Army camp, which they used as a base to launch raids deep into the city making slow but steady progress. The area around Yanov Station continues to attract growing numbers of stalkers. The lack of dangerous mutants and abundance of anomalous areas have led to the area being referred to as a treasure trove with increasing regularity. The rumors of Zulu's fate reached the leader of duty, General Baroni. Counter to most expectations, Baronin decided to posthumously award Zulu with the Silver Shield, duty's highest decoration. But Zulu didn't die. Vano headed off to the freedom-controlled military warehouses, where his cheerful personality and optimism quickly earned him the popularity they merited. Ultimately, he took charge of a small group of researchers involved in investigating anomalous areas. Awesome. A new group appeared in the zone. They are well trained, but their objectives are not known. Rumors say they used to be monolith fighters. Their leader is known as Strider. Senior Lieutenant Sokolov continued to take part in flying missions over the zone. During one such recon flight over Le Mans, his aircraft was shot down by mercenaries. Two weeks later, he was picked up by a patrol near the cordon. Within a month of his rescue, Sokolov had left the Air Force, joining a civil airline instead. Having overcome his alcoholism, Cardin <laughs> left the Skadovsk. Stalkers said he went to look for his missing friends. Several days later, he returned, 
suffering from wounds and radiation poisoning. As soon as his wounds healed, he left the zone for the second and final time. Straylock's knowledge was lost with him. The information he found at the Chernobyl NPP, which could have been used to gain a better understanding of the zone, remained forever within its borders. It seems the zone knows how to keep its secrets. So he did die right at the end. When Colonel Kowalski, Shit. commander of the Stingray Group, returned from the zone, he was forced to explain the reasons for the failure of Operation Fairway. Following a dragged out investigation and the brass's failed attempt to make him the fall guy, the colonel was finally given an honorable discharge. Damn, Strelok died right at the last moment, didn't he? Fuck. At one point, I remember someone saying, like, Strelok's down or something like that, and I turned around, and he was standing there. Or he was crouching there, firing off his gun, so I was like, okay, he's okay for now. Shit, he died. Oh, well. Sergey, somebody, project manager, Ruslan Didenko. Man, this is just one of the greatest games of all time. This game was so much better than Shadow of Chernobyl, and it was infinitely better than Clear Sky. This was truly the epitome of the series, and I'm so glad that I played it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you stay tuned this far, all I can say is pick up the trilogy. I advise that you play Shadow of Chernobyl at least once, just have the experience. Skip Clear Sky, but really get into this game. This game is worth every moment of your time. God damn. God damn, Strelak died at the last moment. Well, it is what it is. If you'd like to find out what the ending is, if Strelak doesn't die, YouTube it. I'm sure it's on there. God damn, I'm gonna YouTube it right now. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for watching. It's been Dudical and the entire Stalker trilogy in a row. It's been a real experience. Take care, and bye-bye.